Center for Virtual Engineering Days, an all-new digital conference and expo for plastics, packaging, and manufacturing professionals, June 15th through 17th, 2021. And I'm happy to work, welcome Virtual Engineering Days keynoter and TerraCycle Executive Vice President of TC R&D and Technical Innovation, Dr. Ernie Simpson. Dr. Simpson developed solutions for a variety of traditional non-recyclable waste and is a lead scientist behind the company's invention of a revolutionary recycling process for dirty diapers, cigarette filters, and chewing gum. With more than 30 years of industrial experience, uh, Dr. Simpson has spent six years at Johnson & Johnson Pharmaceutical Research and Development and was previously employed at DuPont, Xerox, and Arco Chemical. Dr. Simpson, welcome. Thank you. Can we call you Ernie? Uh, yes, please. Great. <laughs> Everyone does. <laughs> Well, Ernie, uh, TerraCycle is an, is an industry leader in providing sustainable solutions and consults with many no, uh, well-known manufacturing facilities to yes. help drive sustainable actions at the facility level. Yes. Um, TerraCycle's key message is eliminating the idea of waste. Yes. Can you define what that means? It means generally that um, nothing that is created uh, is waste. Uh, there's always someone who can take that material and convert it into usable items. So uh, we refuse to say whatever we collect as a recycling company is waste. It's actually new feedstock uh, to be uh, uh, you know recycled uh, and to be reused again. Excellent. Great. Well, what, what challenges and perhaps opportunities um, do you see in creating this type of circular economy for uh, manufacturing where no material ends up as, as wasted? Well, uh, one of the, uh, the, the first things we look at is really education about uh, the recycling um, uh, industry. Uh, there are lots of people that started out by saying, you know, recycled material can never be as good as virgin material. And uh, they really don't want to put the time and effort in to uh, study how we can actually uh, recycle material into really good forms and uh, materials that can be reused in the circular economy. Okay. Okay. Um, now, recycling, of course, is a, a very large part of sustainable manufacturing and a sustainable process. Are there pros and cons to chemical recycling processes? Yes. Um, chemical recycling processes, uh, or, you know, the, the word chemical recycling is really splintered. There are actually four different approaches for chemical recycling. The one that is generally used is a concept where materials are taken, they're depolymerized and made into monomer, and then the monomers are used with a catalyst to repolymerize a new material. Uh, the, the problem with the, the, this concept is that generally small companies are not prepared to do that kind of uh, you, uh, chemical recycling. So mm. there's another approach where you're using uh, chemicals to clean or to purify uh, polymers, which can be reused as, you know, close to virgin materials. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, Dr. Simpson, or Ernie, excuse me, you have more than 30 years of industrial experience. How has your career led you to TerraCycle and how has your experience as an engineer helped support TerraCycle's mission? Well, you know, uh, I, I started out my career at uh, the DuPont company uh, and uh, I started out as an applied uh, physicist or engineering physicist as they call it back in those days. And this is in the seventies. And uh, I worked for, you know, various other companies, but about 10, uh, 11 years ago, I actually retired from a large corporation and I decided to take a look at the recycling industry. And so I uh, applied to TerraCycle and sure they needed someone 
with extensive, uh, you know, polymer background. So I was, you know, uh, brought into the company. And uh, I, I'll be honest with you, it's, I've had such a good time doing this. Uh, you know, I, I would have re retired a couple of years ago, but uh, I was so, you know, happy doing things. I, I'm still here. And uh, it's the engineering part of my uh, background comes in because whenever someone says it can't be done, uh, you know, as an engineer, uh, you don't tell engineers that something cannot be done. You, you ask the engineer, uh, could you please uh, try and design something that works properly? And, you know, that's the concept that I use, always working to uh, make it better. And, and so, uh, you know, the TerraCycle is better for, you know, uh, me having this experience and uh, my team uh, is pretty happy about it as well. That's great. We're really excited about the work that TerraCycle is doing. Um, I'm personally starting to see it show up in my area where I live. It's it's really amazing stuff. I think it's going to be a really big positive influence on on manufacturing overall. We we hope so. Yes. Yeah. Before we let you go, Ernie, are there any key takeaways um, our virtual engineering day as attendees can expect when they tune into your keynote on June 16th at 11 a.m.? Yes, uh, I, I've been around for uh, a long time. And I started looking at packages uh, back in the 80s when people were making eight layers and five layer composites for making uh, packages. And, you know, it was extremely expensive for buying equipment for making those. And I'm happy to say I've seen, you know, companies move away from eight layers now down to two or three layers. And they're looking to go to monolayer uh, concepts for packaging. Uh, I see the shoe industry uh, moving from, you know, uh, having 10 different uh, materials to make a pair of shoe and, and trying to consolidate and to make as few as possible. I think it's going in the right direction and I'm happy to be in, in the industry uh, at this point. Well, we're happy to have you in the industry as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, everyone out there, be sure to register for virtual engineering days at engineeringwk.com and hear more from Ernie on designing for sustainable manufacturing on June 16th at 11 a.m. Eastern. Ernie, thanks so much for joining us.